feels a little bit like Madonna with with the pearls, you know, before she turned into an alien. <gasps> Did I just break it? I just broke it. Okay. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Styling vs. mini-series that I've started doing here on this channel. Today I'm going to be comparing minimalist versus maximalist style using only the things I have in my wardrobe. And just like with the previous video, I'm going to be comparing them across a series of situations, going from most casual to slightly least casual. I don't really have dressy stuff. Coming up with some of these outfits was surprisingly tricky, and you'll see why in just a moment, so let's go ahead and get started. Round one is our most casual scenario for this. I'm going with either like a bonfire or a cookout at a friend's house, something pretty laid back. You don't need to put too much effort in. So for our minimalist option, I thought what is more casual and basic than the t-shirt and jeans combo, but I didn't want to go with just a plain white t-shirt and jeans. I just feel like that's a little too obvious. I find that when you search minimalist outfits on Pinterest, it's 100% neutrals and I didn't want this to turn into the previous video. Like, I already did that, so. So I swapped in a purple t-shirt instead of a white one, but this is still very basic. This actually does feel like something I would wear. It's very casual and comfortable and laid back, and I like that the heavier black shoes and bag kind of anchor the very light feeling jeans and top. I like this. I, I would wear this IRL. No one, no one says IRL. In real life. And I almost forgot, if I needed an outer layer, I would probably wear this green flannel over it. I know some people would probably be like, well now it's not minimalist because you added too many elements. But I like these colors together. For me personally, this is still fairly minimalist because it's just very simple, basic pieces. So if you want to get mad at me about definitions of minimalism and all that, go off. I hope you have a blast. But I think this is still fairly minimalist overall as an outfit. Anyway. Okay guys, I'm really sorry. I tried to avoid it, but the romper's back. I tried so many combinations in my wardrobe to not use this romper in this video because I I'd already used it for the last one, but I just do not have that many bold maximalist feeling items because that's just not typically how I dress. So this is literally the loudest, boldest, most extra obnoxious thing I have that I own. I guess it was kind of unavoidable. I was trying to avoid it, but it was unavoidable. I feel like tights automatically makes an outfit not casual, but if I was gonna use this romper, I wanted to make it very different than the previous video, how I used it there. So the romper in and of itself is, for me personally, very maximal because it's very bright and just bold and loud. So I wanted to let this speak for itself. I also don't really have anything that goes well with it that is also bold. I'm kind of just letting the romper speak for itself here. She does quite well at that on her own. So I went with, you know, mesh and tights and the docks as always. So yeah, I... Mm, if you've been around here for a while, you know that I am quite torn on <laughs> what to do with this romper because part of me really likes it and part of me is like this is never leaving the house. I think by pairing it with so much black it kind of lessens the shock <laughs> for me. I don't really know what else to call it. So I actually I don't mind this combination. I don't know that I would actually wear it though is the thing. Although I do appreciate this. I can appreciate it for what it is. If that makes any sense at all. I don't know. Round two, we are bumping up the dress code a little bit because it's date night and we want to look a little bit more put together than just a casual hangout. The scenario I'm going with is a date, whether that's a night out or just a coffee date. So for the minimalist option, I was dancing around this combination so hard trying to find something else because just like with the previous video, this kind of feels like something that I have seen on Pinterest a hundred times over and feels a little bit overplayed, but I actually like this one. This combination is so simple, it almost felt too obvious, but I think there's a reason that so many people pin pictures of this type of outfit because the appeal is that it's simple. So I just have black trousers and my little button down. I went with a slight heel because like I said, we're going slightly elevated. Um, and I really like this actually. I don't know why I'm always dancing around simpler basic outfit options when that is typically what I feel most comfortable in. And for this especially, I feel like the clothes are showcasing me rather than me showcasing the clothes. They're not hogging all the attention for themselves, which is what you want on a date because you want your date to be focused on you, right? 
so mission accomplished. I don't have too much else to say about this other than I really like this and I might tuck this away in my noggin to use at a later date. If I needed an outer layer, I would probably go with my cable knit cardigan. This item as well feels like something I've seen all over Pinterest a million times, but I've had this for over a decade. It's nothing exciting, but it is minimal and I think works fairly well with the rest of the ensemble. Moving right along to the maximal option for a date outfit. Starting to sound like a broken record, but this was tricky to come up with. One of the only brightly colored things I have is this muted orange skirt. So I paired it with this paisley top because it is kind of a blue based item so that we have the contrasting colors. I tried to do my blue tights as well, but it just looked way too cartoony and like not in a good way. <laughs> so no tights simple brown heels. Tried to do a little bit more with the jewelry, but kind of letting the skirt and the top do the talking here. I definitely don't hate it, but neither would I wear it. I like these colors together. I love blue and orange together, but for me personally, this just feels too conspicuous, too like, hey, look at me, which I guess is kind of a little bit of the point of maximalism. I don't know. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear my overhead fan, but it is sweltering in here. It's getting to be about that time. <laughs> and then for a purse, I'm not really sure. I think maybe I would just go with this one. It doesn't feel like it goes, but that might just be my brain being resistant to this whole over the top maximal thing. It's just not my thing. It doesn't not go, but it also doesn't go. Just trying to have as many elements as I can without it looking like a tornado blew through a circus, which is easier said than done. And then I'd probably just do a denim jacket if I needed a jacket. Cause I just, yeah, I, I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around this many things going on at once idea. So I tried my best with the limited bold items that I have, and I think this is okay. It might not be what some of you consider maximal, but for me personally, it is because it's just, it's a lot. Let's move on to the last round. <laughs> On to the last round, which is the most dressy out of the three. Dressy in quotation marks because most of my clothes are pretty casual. For this scenario, again, we are going with either attending a bridal shower, a baby shower, something to that effect. For the minimalist outfit, I chose this navy blue midi dress. This is one of my absolute favorite dresses, although I don't think I wore it last summer. I don't know what's up with that. What's up with that? So it's a very understated color and pattern and a very classic silhouette. I usually wear this with my brown heels. I think I would go with this little itty bitty brown purse. And then if I needed an outer layer, again, the brown cable knit cardigan. This looks a smidge frumpy with this dress, but it's fine. If you need to be warm, be warm, right? Like don't overthink these things. Not much else to say about this one. It's just fairly minimal, easy to wear dress that I need to wear more this summer. I don't know why I keep forgetting that it's in my closet. Like it's, it's literally right in front of me when I open my closet and I don't know. And our final outfit for the dressiest category, the maximalist version, I went with floral on floral. I tried to do pattern clashing, not just for this outfit, but for the other rounds as well. And none of the patterns I have work well together. Like even with pattern clashing, I feel like there's a certain level of cohesiveness, but all of my patterns are so entirely separate from each other. But floral on floral, I'm kind of a fan of. This feels like a lot, but again, that is the point. I have to remind myself. I don't know, I don't know. I'm so out of my element here. Minus the jewelry, I would actually wear this out, I think. Probably because even though there's a lot going on, these patterns have a dark base and they feel very moody and romantic and I quite like that look. So even though the patterns are a lot, I kind of like this opt for some simpler jewelry and I think I would wear this actually. Yeah, now I need an excuse to wear this out. Hold on, the pearls are feeling like too much. It feels a little bit like Madonna with with the pearls, you know, before she turned into an alien. <gasps> Did I just break it? I just Anyway, yeah, okay, it's a little bit better without the pearls. The pearls were a bit much. What can I say? I'm predictable. I love a good dark floral pattern. So if you couldn't already tell by my reactions, 
throughout. I do prefer minimalist looks over maximalist looks most of the time. I think this very last one is the exception only because it's dark and moody and romantic feeling. If it's like bright and bold and eye-catching, it's not really for me. I think minimalist type outfits are more of my comfort zone. The thing I noticed when my camera's crooked, you know what? I'm I don't even care anymore. The thing I noticed when I was planning these outfits was that I have a handful of bright or colorful or bold patterned items, but they don't go together. And I think that's because for the most part, I tend to wear these items as the focal point of the outfit in and of themselves. And I pair them with neutrals and basic things so that that one bold item is like the statement item even if it's not really a statement item. I don't tend to wear my bold items together most of the time. So although minimalist outfits are more of my comfort zone and my starting point for most of my outfits, it was fun to challenge myself to combine things in a new way. And this did reiterate for me how much I love dark florals together. So I found something a little funky that I like. I feel like I had something else I was gonna say and it's completely left my mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this style experiment. I do have at least one, maybe two more coming up for this series. As before, if you have ideas for more styles or aesthetics that I should compare in a video, please do let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Where's the sun going? No, come back. Do you mind? There's a really loud bird right outside my window. I don't know why I did that. It's like a door.